Island News Midday Update is sponsored by Soldier to Soldier Hawaii Realty. Happy Tuesday, Hawaii. I'm Lindsay Fukano with your Island News Midday Update. Breaking news, Hawaii State Hospital escapee Randall Saito's extradition hearing is now underway in Stockton, California. And according to our sister station KXTV in Stockton, today's hearing is solely to determine identity confirmation and mental competency. If you'll recall, Saito walked out of the Hawaii State Hospital on November 12th and took a taxi to the airport. He was able to fly to California where he was recognized by a taxi driver. Saito has been a state hospital patient for nearly four decades found not guilty by reason of insanity for murder. A man is dead after being pulled from waters off West Maui. The fire department says around noon Monday, a 47-year-old visitor from California was snorkeling with family members at Black Rock Beach and Ka'anapali. Now, someone paddling a canoe saw him waving and yelling for help about 50 feet away from the rocks. The paddler and a bystander brought the man to shore and tried CPR before firefighters and paramedics both took over. Rescue crews say he could not be resuscitated. And a man who recently drowned in Kauai just now identified as 73-year-old Brian Elmendorf of Washington State. Police report back on November 22nd, Elmendorf was bodyboarding when he collapsed in Hanalei Bay. He's the Garden Isle's seventh drowning of 2017. Efforts to move a fishing vessel stuck on the reef in waters off Waikiki for nearly two months now delayed again. Coast Guard reports salvage operations scheduled for today are pushed back to tomorrow at high tide. And if all goes according to plan, Pacific Paradise will be towed out to sea and sunk about 1,800 feet. As always, don't forget to tune into Island News tonight at 5, 6, and 10 for the very latest. Have a great day.